Good morning, and welcome to another edition of Mark's Inspiration. Glad you could join me here today, as always. Join us Monday night at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. I will be a guest on the show of Kings and Dreams. We're going to have some good stuff, so come on over there and check us out. Today's topic is going to be foreign women or American women. What is your choice? Well, if you've never been out of the country, you really have no point of reference. <clears throat> I've dated many American women. I've been married to three of them. I was married to a woman from out of the country for 12 years, a Latina. And I've dated women from different parts of the world. And I've been lived out of the country for six years. So I have some experience with American women and women from other countries. And I know a lot of guys will say, well, you guys, you passport bros. I don't consider, I don't know if I'm a passport bro. I don't consider myself a passport bro. I guess I've done some of the same things they do, but I know some people will badmouth the passport bros saying they don't have any game. Well, that's, to me, that's bull crap because first off, you don't know whether they have game or not because they go to other countries because maybe they prefer other women. doesn't mean they have game. It doesn't mean they do have game. Maybe they just prefer a more feminine woman, <clears throat> a woman who's more cooperative instead of a woman that is raised to be a career woman, a masculine woman, a strong, independent woman. I have nothing against strong, independent women. A real strong, independent woman or woman, no more than I have against a strong, independent man. Uh, because the strong, independent man knows that he is not completely independent of other people. That's where I think the Western woman thinks she's independent of everyone. She can make it all on her own. And that's bullshit. At least as a man, I know that I can't make it on my own. I need help. I haven't gotten to where I am today by doing it all by myself. And the most successful people in the world will tell you that they have gotten to where they are with the help of other people. So none of us are strong and independent completely. So if you think you are, you're not. How do you get your food? Do you go out and grow it? Do you ship it here yourself? Do you drive out there and get it? Who serves you at McDonald's? Who makes your coffee for you? Who made your car? Who built your house? I mean, I could go on and on, but you get the point. But back to the topic, I just prefer a woman who realizes that she does need a man. And she's not living in the illusionary world that women don't need men. No more than a man who lives in a world that thinks he doesn't need women. Now, of course, as a man, you don't want to be needy because that turns women off. But you have to realize that none of us, as I said, are independent of each other. We need each other. Men need women to procreate to survive. And men need women for other things too. Now, I'm not saying a woman, I know a man can't get by by himself, but I guarantee you, if he doesn't have a woman, once he dies, he will not perpetuate his lineage. And a woman in the dangerous world, which it can be sometimes, definitely needs a man to protect her. And a man needs a woman to come home to that's going to be there for him, comfort him, take care of his home, his children, and somebody he can find peace with. And you're not going to find peace with an uncooperative, argumentative woman. I've had them, I know, and I've had cooperative women too. I will say this, so a lot of it has to do with, uh, excuse me, a lot of it has to do with how you're coming in as a man. I know a lot of you guys, none of my guys, and my subscribers, but a lot of you guys want to blame women. You want to badmouth women and say it's all their fault. As I said, I was married 12 years to a Latina, and what happens to guys, and it happened to me, is you become complacent. Now, I brought her back here to the U.S., and she kind of learned the American ways, so that didn't help. But we actually lived in, in her country when we separated. Um, I was allowing her to uh, run around with her single sisters and they were jealous of her and other women will bring other women down even if it's their own family because they're jealous. So there again, I wasn't really leading and 
I hate to use the word controlling because that sounds so controlling, but women want you to tell them what to do. I mean, I've had them straight up ask me, tell me what to do. And as Americans in the U.S., where a lot of times we've, we're supposed to, we're told that we're supposed to allow them to make their own mistakes. And everybody does learn from their own mistakes, but women don't want to be responsible and they don't want to be accountable most of the time. They want you to make the big decisions. And her decisions, whatever she decides to do, in many cases affects you and the family. And she certainly doesn't want to have that responsibility laid off on her. Even sometimes they'll act like they want to make the decisions when in reality, they don't want to. Never listen to what a woman says, but look at what she responds to, what she reacts favorably to, what actions she takes that bring her happiness. Not what she says is going to bring her happiness, but what actually does bring her happiness. Because there's quite a difference between those two things. What she says she likes, what she says she wants, and what she really likes and what she really wants. And that's women all across the board, whether they're in this country or in another country. I just don't like American women anymore. Now, there are good ones out there. I'm not saying that. But in general, the culture has changed dramatically since the 70s, which is when I did, you know, when I grew up. I was born in 1960. I grew up in the 70s, 80s. And women were much different. They had much more respect for men back then. And it's just things have changed a lot. So a lot of these guys, it isn't that they don't have any game. It's just that they don't like the type of women we have in our culture anymore. So that's something to think about the next time one of you guys go bad mouthing the passport bros for going out of the country to be with a different type of women. If I'm fishing here in the pond and I'm only catching catfish and I want to catch salmon, I certainly, not get, no matter how hard I try or how good a fisherman I am, I'm not going to catch salmon in a pond that's only got catfish. And so it is with women. If I want a cooperative, submissive, feminine woman, I'm going to have a lot better luck getting her somewhere else besides the United States. Well, that's my take on it. If you'd like to get my help personally, you can contact me at marksinspirationalguidance at gmail.com or my website at marksinspiration.com. Follow me on Rumble and Instagram and Twitter at marksinspiration. Take care. Have a wonderful day.